It's only been about five minutes for us, but it's been a week for you guys. We just finished our rope swing in Moab and Woo! that was terrifying. Whoa! We have something so exciting happening this week. Yeah. It's all we've thought about, all we can talk about, and I think it's gonna come to a shock to a lot of you. Yeah. Do you wanna tell them? We're ending our year-long road trip and we're heading home. We're going home. We miss our people. We yeah. wanna be home for summer, so we're going home. So we have a 38-ish hour drive according to the GPS. The van doesn't go that fast and it's about 2,600 miles back home. And come along with us for a very long journey. <laughs> We just stopped for our first fill up on gas, the first of many. I am just like, uh, I'm just so excited for this trip, but so nervous. We're surprising quite a few people, and we told them that Cody's gifting me with a hotel room because of our swing jump. Every time he has me do something like super adventurous, I always say, I wish he could like get me something luxurious after because that's more my vibe. He's more of the adventurous guy and I just go along for the ride. It's so fun, but it's also so fun to relax in a nice hotel room with air conditioner and a pool and that kind of stuff. <laughs> but hopefully everyone believes it. We said we're gonna do a little digital detox, so we're not gonna be on our phones. Um, we put them on, we turned our locations off. We share our location with all of our close, closest loved ones. Um, we told them they're in airplane mode, so hopefully they believe it and don't think we're being suspicious. I don't know, I just hope no one catches on. We have a few surprises lined up, but oh my God, I'm so excited. This is going to be the longest three days of my life. <laughs> All right, we definitely gotta hit the road. We have a ton of driving to do. Uh, I was trying to figure out roughly so we could do it in three days. So that would be driving about 12 hours today, which would get us near Lincoln, Nebraska. There's a Cracker Barrel there, so that's what we're shooting for. But, currently says we'll get there at 11.07 p.m. And the van can't do the 80 mile an hour speed limit, so it's on the highway, so we're always losing time. So, that would put us driving until like midnight. So we'll see. We'll see how far we get. Yeah. We've made it to Colorado! Woo! State number one of how many? I think 12 or 13. Like 13 or something crazy. So, woo! It is just about midnight. Jill just put in a massive stint of driving. <laughs> we made it to about the middle of Nebraska and we are at a Cabela's. So we are gonna make the bed, dive in there and fall asleep. We promise we'll update you guys tomorrow on why we're headed home. Mm -hmm. But for now, we are headed to bed. And we'll see you guys in the morning. See you bright and early. Good morning, guys. We just woke up after a uh, not so great night of sleep. We fell asleep so fast, but at about 4 a.m. there was so much lightning around us. It kept us awake for a while. So hitting the road a little later than we expected, but we're about halfway through Nebraska, so we have a long way to go. All right, I'm up. Yeah, I'm up. welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Cody woke up about three hours before I did, started driving, and I just kept on sleeping. <laughs> But I'm a little car sick now. I'm not used to being in the back and the bumps were just like insane. I felt like my whole body was like getting lifted up. <laughs> and it's super, super windy today, which really sucks in the van because it just blows it all around. But it is what it is. We got a lot of driving to do. <laughs> we woke up in Nebraska. We're about to cross over into Iowa. Yep. So, fingers crossed we can put a big day in. We were hoping to get a few more hours in last night, but we were both just like exhausted. We just stopped for our third tank of fuel and we are in the middle of Iowa. We're gonna try to get past Chicago tonight, 
but while we're on the road through all of these cornfields on both sides of us, we figured we would update you guys and tell you why we're heading home. I'm assuming a few of you are wondering that. And to answer that question, we really have to go back to the goals of this trip. We wanted to go on a year long road trip, go explore the US and see if any place other than Maine felt more like home than that state that we grew up in. We were both born and raised in the state of Maine and we had never really explored the US, especially out west. So we really wanted to see that before we settled down. And to our surprise, the answer to that is no. No, we love Maine. <laughs> we're both really excited to go back We've realized that Maine, especially in the summer, is where we want to be. We don't know about the winter just yet, <laughs> so we're going to try to figure out a plan for that. But as of right now, we're both just feeling pretty homesick, ready to be back. We're excited about our next steps. We really hadn't allowed ourselves to think about anything other than this road trip all the way pretty much since we graduated college. So like next steps once we got out to the west and we started to settle in to the routine of van life a little bit, we started talking about next steps and we're kind of excited for that journey. So yeah, we're gonna head back. There's definitely a lot that goes into this decision and we didn't take it lightly, but we are very excited to finally head home. Although I know some of you are very excited for us to get back to the tiny house and start making that content. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. There's a lot more of that coming. Hi, mister. You look pretty comfy, boy. That's a good boy. They're all breathing deeply, listening to their footsteps dying. We just crossed into Indiana, which means this is our fifth state. Still a little daunting that there's like eight more to go, but we're officially in the east. We crossed over the Mississippi, and now we are stuck in traffic just below Chicago. But we're going to try to cross through this whole state tonight and then into Ohio. So we have another three and a half hours or so. Gonna be another midnight adventure, but we're doing pretty good. It's gonna be worth it. Yeah. <laughs> One eternity later. Woo! Day number two is complete. Nice work, buddy. Ooh, that was a long one. I think that was like 14 hours of travel, but knocked out, went even further than we expected to this morning. Yeah. So that hopefully tomorrow is a little bit easier of a day. We're right outside of Toledo, Ohio in a town, I think it's called Mommy. <laughs> I don't know. You guys tell us. It's M-A-U-M-E-E. -E. Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to call it a night here. We're hoping to wake up pretty early and best news ever. Guess what's across the street? Woo, Starbucks. Starbucks. So we'll have a good morning, but we'll see you then. Good morning. We got our coffees Ooh. and we're ready to roll. We're both very tired this yeah. morning. <laughs> I don't think we've said more than like two words to each other, <laughs> but we're, we're up and we're rolling. Last full day. Big drive day. Big drive day, but tomorrow starts. The surprises. The surprises. just made it through Buffalo, New York, and we are way ahead of schedule. So we just can't wait anymore. We're gonna go straight to my parents' house. I wanted to surprise them when the whole family was together tomorrow afternoon, but I just can't hold in my excitement. So we're thinking we're gonna get there right around 8 30, 9 p.m. So it's definitely gonna be a little late, but Oh, just can't wait. We just have to do it. <laughs> New Hampshire. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Maine. We back. We back. We just crossed the border into Maine. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Wow. 
Wow, 2,500 miles? Long time. Yeah, that Long was time. a journey. So we're about 30 minutes from my parents' house. We're gonna go there tonight. My mom has no clue, I don't think. She thinks that we're in Moab still, where we did our swing. And I think she's going to flip. She's pretty chill though, so I don't know how she'll be on camera, but we'll see. <laughs> we are still about 30 minutes away, but someone knows where we are. Yeah. See, I smell it. <laughs> We're almost there, and my we think my uncle just pulled up behind us. Yeah. He better not be calling my mom right now, I swear to God, Uncle John. <laughs> no. She's losing it, folks. I'm so bad at, I love surprises. I love doing surprises. I'm just so bad at them. Oh my God. Feel it. <laughs> I think you and Sarah is there. Is she by the pool? reaction was so good so good today we are going up to my aunt's house where we're gonna surprise her and my uncle and I'm so excited but first coffee done. coffee <laughs> we're going to our favorite coffee shop finally after a long time a long time so coffee coffee has been acquired so good to be back. Sweet nectar of the gods. <laughs> so good. And it worked out perfectly because my niece was working when we got our coffee. So she was surprised. I tried to film it on my phone. I maybe got like a tiny little something, <laughs> but I was like flailing and jumping up and down because I was so excited. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Why are you guys back? We're just back. Hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, stop. Are you We're back. We're back. We also have um, gotten groceries, and now we're going to make a quick stop at one of my close friend Amanda's house. I don't really know what she's up to today. I haven't talked to her in a few days. So we're just going to show up and... <laughs> Hope for the best. Hope for the best. We don't have much time because we're really trying to get up to my aunt's, which is two hours away. So it's gonna be like a quickie, but. <sighs> Surprises all the way around. I'm anxious all over again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Well, first I'm nervous just because I'm excited, but I'm just not the type of person neither of us are no. to just show up at someone's house unannounced. So I just hope it's not like the wrong time. I don't know. And I'm nervous because you know? we have to be quick. Like I'm gonna feel bad being like, hi. Bye! <laughs> I used to drive this road every day to work. Oh my god. 
What? <laughs> she just oh yipping? Oh my god, what the f***? <laughs> <laughs> Surprise number two, complete. Another good, good one. It was good and it was funny. Like she w didn't hear her phone ringing or us knocking. So she just like came by the kitchen window and we were like, hello. Standing outside waving. Let us in. And she was in her nightgown with a face mask. I think she was mortified by the camera, but so funny. Oh I didn't my God. Film much of it. It's okay. We didn't film much of it because nightgown, face mask. Yeah. <laughs> but on to surprise number three. It's about two hours away to get to my aunt's house. Yeah. We just got off the exit. About five minutes away. You would think this would get like easier and less like stressful, but it doesn't. I'm no. so anxious all over again. So, but good thing my mom obviously already knows so we've been texting and she's trying to get my aunt like down by the water so she doesn't see us pull in so the hope is we can pull in really quick and run down by the water and we say like boom cliffy run down. yeah maybe have cliffy run down as long as the chickens are now because he loves the chickens but Definitely sick of driving, but it's yeah. worth it to see everybody. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Almost there. freaking love surprises that was so much fun <laughs> she looked like Joan saw a ghost Jill saw it when she turned around and saw us coming down but that was the surprise for the day we are gonna relax and hang out by the water this is why I love 4th of July so much and it is so beautiful here in Maine it's 80 something degrees and we're gonna enjoy the view while we're here we'll catch you guys tomorrow for our last surprise actually there's still one more after that but see you guys tomorrow good morning we are up and at them this morning. It's like, what, 7 a.m.? Yep. And we're on our way to the lake, which has like our best friends at it, our second family. And we are so excited. Last night we kind of just like dropped off once we got to my aunt's house, but it was so nice spending time with family after not seeing them for like six months. Yeah. So I'm so excited for this next one. We have our coffees and we're ready to go. How are you feeling? Still waking up a little, but I mean, I'm really, really excited. This yeah. is definitely the surprise that we've worked the hardest at trying to keep. And yeah. we think they're on to us a little bit, but we hope it's still gonna be a good surprise. We are trying to get there as early as we can this morning, which is why it's 7 a.m. because 4th of July traffic near the biggest, one of the biggest lakes in Maine, we gotta go right by it. So. We'll see. I'm ready to get there. I know that. Yeah. We've had enough of driving. <laughs> I know. Seriously. We are an hour away and he already knows something's up. Just you smell your auntie. Sniffing that man. You smell your aunties and uncles. You smell them. Don't get me wrong, like surprising loved ones is so fun, but I think I'm gonna be excited when this like excited anxiety is done with. <laughs> yeah. My heart is like, Wah! we're 10 minutes away, and I'm so excited. Let's get there. Seven minutes. So I've been texting Allison and Erica's mom 
and she's trying to keep them like down by the lake so they don't see us pull into the driveway but we've been running a little behind schedule from traffic so I don't know where they're gonna be if they're gonna some people are gonna be up by the driveway I just hope it all works out me too I am so <laughs> so freaking anxious right now Oh my god. We're about to pull in. Fingers crossed. Wish us luck. Oh my god, there I hear. I called it yesterday, you piece of shit. <laughs> I was like, she's on to us. <laughs> oh, oh, you are goodness, family. <laughs> oh yeah, and we're back for good. Hi. Hi. Getting set up. We're finally back reunited. Several days later. Long time no talk. <laughs> we have been hanging out at the lake with our besties for about four or five days and we took about a two hour drive to Cody's, um, like the town where Cody grew up. And tonight we are surprising his family. It's our last big surprise. So it's kind of bittersweet. We're sad that this like excitement is coming to an end, but we are so excited, especially to surprise his grandparents, I yeah. think. One, his grandfather, said about a week ago he thinks we're coming home early so I bet he says he knew it but I yep. think they're gonna have really good reactions we've been really excited my mom's side of the family all gets together pretty much every Tuesday night for a together Tuesday meal and so we haven't been to one of these in a long time so we're really excited that we finally get to go to together Tuesday and see everyone what I'm excited <laughs> I'm nervous. I don't know if I'm gonna like miss this feeling or be excited that it's over once this last surprise is over. I know. I'm so anxious. This didn't work out as we expected. Everyone is half out, well, half outside, half inside. Hello! Hey, Pat! Oh my God! 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 Oh my Holy cow! Yeah. Kyle. Oh, hello. Hi. Kyle. Hi. Kyle's on the morning. Well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's going. <laughs> I was like... All right, our last surprise is complete. Thank you guys so much for coming along. This was such a fun video to film. We cannot wait to show you what's next for us. A lot has been going on behind the scenes with the tiny house. <laughs> yeah. So those are next steps for us. But until then, cheers. Peace. When colors turn to shades of gray with the weight of the world at the end of the day, what would I do without you? A decade goes by without a warning And there's still a kindness in your eyes Amidst the questions and the words